Welcome, I'm Chris Soares. A treat for you over the next half hour. We'll meet Southwestern Ontario band Whistler Creek. You're watching Rogers TV. I'm Chris Soares. That means you're watching the Soares Show. Welcome back to the Sorzy Show on Rogers TV. I'm Chris Sorz. A special treat for, uh, for you uh, over the next half hour. We're at St. John's Anglican Church, a, a new venue for the Sorzy Show, and a treat for you. Our first live band on the show. Welcome, uh, Whistler Creek, and the guys from the band Southwestern Ontario. We'll let you guys introduce yourselves. Go ahead. I'm Scott Howarth. I play rhythm guitar from London, Ontario. I'm Larry Baker. I play drums. I'm from Mitchell, Ontario. Hi, I'm Stuart Irvin. I'm the lead singer. I'm from uh, Park Hill, Ontario. And I'm Chris Cleave, I am the bass player, and I'm from Ripley, Ontario. Uh, I'm Steve Gorman, I uh, play lead guitar. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure, Steve? I'm pretty sure I play lead guitar. Uh, Whistler Creek, name of the band, obviously. Where did the name come from? And, you know, this is a free-for-all. Whoever wants to talk, go ahead. Where did it come from? Well, it was actually our uh, manager, Robert Moody, that uh, created the name. Uh, watching an old John Wayne movie, John's character was by the name Whistler, and he just sort of put the two together. That's where it came from. How did the uh, How did you guys come together? Through Robert as well. He, yeah. Uh, well, we need a mic on. Robert we need started a mic on. Uh, uh, putting ads on Facebook, looking for guitar players and singers, and we all applied for the ad and got together, and it's worked out pretty well so far. So is it mainly a uh, country band, or you know, uh, is that pretty much it, or what's the genre of uh, of the band? Well, absolutely. Straight up country is our slogan, so. Yeah. Okay, and how long have you guys been together? Five uh, months five now? Months? Yeah, five oh, months. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. It's very new, actually. Yeah. So, how did you guys, so tell us about the first meeting of you guys and how it went. Well, uh, who wants to go first? Because you, you two met first. If I'm correct, first. yeah, you would have you would have been in the band before, and we uh, we just seemed to click right away. We had a lot of interest in the same music, and right. we're able to jam together the first weekend we met, and went well and hit it off. And then we brought Steve in. Yeah, so I end up in this like little dungeony basement. I had no idea what was going to happen, and then uh, <laughs> next thing you know, I'm being pulled out for pictures, and uh, there I am. I'm part of the band now. So. Nice. <laughs> and the two of the how did uh, Chris and Larry come on board? For me, I answered an ad on Facebook. Uh, they were looking for a bass player. I showed up on a Saturday. I think it was about an hour and a half late. And I'm pretty sure I, I wasn't going to get the, the gig at that point. But uh, I went downstairs. I set up this massive bass rig that I have. I played three songs. And they said, OK, we'll let you know. And I kind of sold it. Packed up and left, yeah. So. Larry? And myself, I just uh, um, I got a call from Chris actually saying, hey, you know, would you be interested in coming to jam and uh, talk to the fellas? and see because we're looking for a drummer so I drove down to London and sat down for a couple hours with them and uh, here we are and I'm definitely honored to be here. How's the five months been? It's not tumultuous at times but yeah. uh, we're, we're definitely with this group of guys we're definitely yeah. on a high road now. This is Any, sh any shows yet? Better. Like in, within the first five months have there been shows? Yes. Yes. How was the first show? Where was the first show? The first show was at uh, Sonny's Bar in St. Thomas. We were doing a fundraiser event for... How did, uh, and how'd it go? Like, how much practice time did you guys have together before the first show? Uh, practice time? I think we had, like, a month. Yeah. Maybe a month, yeah. And we got together one set, because it was an hour-long show. So. And, and how did the first show go? It went fantastic. Oh, yeah, it was really good. A couple of hiccups here and there, but you got to expect that for a new yeah, band, right? Of course. That's so. right, absolutely. Uh, you guys aren't the sh big time yet to, to quit your regular jobs. I'm sure you guys all <laughs> yeah. have regular jobs. I want to know what you guys do for a living other than this. I work for London Life Monday to Friday. Nice. I work in the uh, law enforcement field in the fire service. Very nice. You're a police officer? I am a, actually a peace officer in the province of Alberta. Very nice. I'm a uh, service tech for Cal Tire. Okay. Chris? I am a full-time fire chief. Nice. Yeah. And where is that again? So, yeah, I work for the township here in Kinloss, so just oh. between Goddard and Kincardine. You know, so you would know local fire chief Brian George? Do you know him? I've heard the name, okay. but I, I don't know okay. off the top of the head. But. Uh, I work at Masonville Manor. It's a retirement home. I work as a cook. Nice. I've heard of that place, too. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, so I want to know the, uh, each of your roads in music uh, leading up to where you are today. I started out uh, as a kid playing guitar with my grandpa and then eventually my mom 
and had the honor to play with my friend Aaron Allen and his band, the Small City Saints, a few okay. times, and then a lot of solo acoustic stuff. Play with these guys. Nice. Uh, for myself, uh, I was born and raised on the road. Um, my mother had a TV show back in the back in the day, and uh, her and my aunt uh, used to sing a lot together, and they won a lot of uh, singing competitions and whatnot. So music's been in my blood my whole entire life. And you're in. Just to go back to your employment layer, you're currently a peace officer in Alberta? I'm currently on a, a, on a leave right now. Nice. Um, well, they're lucky for the band I'm, that you I'm are. I'm actually from here, from okay. this area. Yeah. Okay. So. Stuart? Well, I uh, grew up with music. My dad uh, played my dad's band for a lot of years, the band Magnum, and then uh, took some time off from playing live and did karaoke Friday nights <laughs> here at the Duke and Strathroy, usually. And uh, then I came to Whistler Creek. Also right. sang with the barber shoppers here in Strathroy. Chris? You can thank 80s hair metal and you too. Nice. <laughs> for, my, <laughs> that's right. for my musical influences. So nice. I started uh, very young. I was 12 years old when I got my first bass, and that was because of Gene Simmons. Um, okay. I eventually uh, found out who U2 was and fell in love with them. And really anything musically, I love jazz, blues, metal, rock, death metal, scream metal, you name it, I listen to it. They're all influences. Maybe nice. not so much on the country thing, but they all have a, have a play. That's a good point. Hold the mic for a sec, so you're not too much on the country thing. So what made you think, you know, this band, country band, might be a good fit? Well, I love country music, too. And okay. actually, I didn't until about 2006 when I moved to Alberta, and I actually met my wife out there, uh, who turned me on to country music. It's right. an Alberta thing. Uh, okay. So, you know, and uh, from there I kind of just fell in love with it, and, and the more I get into it, the more I'm uh, really falling more and more in love with it every day, nice. especially when we're doing original stuff. And cool. Steve? Uh, I started, wow, well, where to begin? So my dad, my dad was a musician growing up, so I was around music my whole life. So around like 16, I uh, ended up in his band and played a bunch of shows with him. And then after that, I moved to Toronto to pursue music and started like multiple bands and stuff of original work. Uh, I started a band called The Feel Goods, a band called Strangely Fictitious, which started to get some somewhere for a bit. It was in Burlington. Um, and then after that, after that kind of went sour, I ended up in London. And yeah, so I've been playing music probably, I don't know, 15 years, maybe. But that must be tough years. though, if you're trying to launch a band in an area like the GTA. It's, it's hard. so saturated there, right? Oh, absolutely. Like, it's hard to break out because there's so many artists, right? Like, everywhere. So it's, it's a hard scene to break into. So. Absolutely. Uh, a very wonderful treat we have here on the Sorgi Show. We're going to have live music, two original songs. Uh, we're going to have you guys do one right now. Tell us about the first one. Well, it's actually a funny story. Uh, First song is actually called One More Dance. I wrote it, I've said this story, I don't know how many times, I usually introduce the song with it in the show. Um, I wrote the song in my van in the Tim Hortons parking lot in Glencoe during a snowstorm this past winter. And I was literally just driving along and some dummy words popped into my head. So I pulled into the parking lot and I always have a pad and paper in my car. So I scribbled them down, sort of worked through the chords. It took a little while to introduce it with the band. Um, I was very skeptical of it, but uh, now that it's on our EP, I'm, it's a great accomplishment for me. Usually when songwriters write a song, they're inspired by something, uh, a sign or something someone says. You were in a snowstorm in Glencoe, and the song's called One More Dance. Was there something that clicked, and then you started writing lyrics regarding that? Because One More Dance, and a snowstorm <laughs> really don't go together unless you're outside dancing in the snow. Well, it's actually, uh, it's from a music video in all honesty. One of my huge influences, a uh, country music art, art, artist rather, who died back in 1989. His name is Keith Whitley. Mm -hmm. And he has a song called Homecoming 63. And in the music video, it's him and his wife, then Lori Morgan, was, were dancing together. And uh, yeah, it's, I've always wanted to do a sort of wedding theme song. So cool. I just started to roll with that. All right, so here on the Sorgi Show Live, uh, a brand new original song with Whistler Creek. This is One More Dance. Take it away, guys. From across the bar room, he saw those blue eyes shine Like a beacon for a broken soul 
that he could not fight with what was left of his pride he led her on the floor just one dance together left him wanting more If you got the town, this feels so right with your hand in mine, spinning around together. It's the best feeling I've known. So let's have one. Got to go. And from that moment on, they were hooked in the name and kind of love. Now I'm a ring, a preacher, wedding vows, and a blessing from above. That night in front of God and both their families, the same song played again. And when that band was finished, that blue-eyed girl clung to him. And she said, what? I swear we've got the time This feels so right With your hand in mine Spinning around together It's the best feeling I've known So let's have one more Cause we don't have to go And after 60 years of marriage His feelings never down And from that hospital room She never left his side But he knew his time was coming So once again he swallowed his pride and he said one more dance cause I don't have much time my soul is yours forever to hold in your heart divine all of these years to we're the best I've ever known So let's have one more dance Before they call me home Whoa, darling, just one more dance because I love you so. One more dance with Southwest Ontario band Whistler Creek. Coming up after the break, we'll hear another original. We'll talk more with the guys. You're watching the Sorzy Show on Rogers TV. Welcome back to the Sorgi Show on Rogers TV here at St. John's Anglican Church in Strathroy with the Southwestern Ontario Band, Whistler Creek. Just finished uh, playing a tune before the break, an original, uh, One More Dance. Uh, you said you wrote that in a snowstorm in Glencoe, Stewart. Was it uh, tough to pitch the song to the band? Oh, absolutely. Uh, I'm, I'm very critical of the work that I do. 
And so I think I initially mentioned it and it probably took three, three and a half weeks to actually start playing it in practice. Yeah, you'd, you'd mentioned it a number of times and told us the idea. And we, we love the idea, the story, and the relationship that's, that goes on in it. And we kept saying, you know, play it for us, sing it for us. Let's hear what we want to hear. And he said, no, it's not quite ready. It's not quite <laughs> yeah, ready. Every time we go to pull it out, he just wasn't ready with it. Yeah, we <laughs> welcome back uh, Whistler Creek. It's Scott, Larry, Stuart, Chris, and uh, Steve. Um, were all of you country fans before you got into a country band? Yeah, all my life. Absolutely. Mix yeah, of everything. Mix of everything. So um, was it wasn't difficult yeah. to to blend into the genre that the band wanted to follow. Exactly, like I was more of an old country kind of guy, like your Johnny Cash, that's what I was kind of into, the old writing, but mm -hmm. yeah, for sure, I definitely love country still. Chris? I might be the only one that wasn't influenced by country yeah. per se right away, but however, I did, my mother is a huge country fan and I grew up and I remember waking up in the 80s and 90s to AM radio at the cool. time, <laughs> and it's all country music and a song that always stood out in my head was Eddie Rabbit's. All driving my life away. Right? Absolutely. You know what I mean? And, and so I mean, the, the influence was always underlying to some degree, even though I grew up with my father as a rocker and I kind of took that path first in music. But mm -hmm. what is here it, we are, we're back in country. Yeah, absolutely. What is it about uh, being in the band that excites you guys? Like, why be in a band? I think it's just working together, especially with the writing. Like, you, you, you take a part, you, you t bring in a song like Stuart did, and then you have someone else add another dynamic to it, which changes the song entirely. So I think it's really the writing process for me that does it with the band. Does everybody write? Yes, yes. as far as I know. <laughs> so talk to us a little bit about, and whoever can talk about it, go ahead, the demographics of the band, what everybody brings to the band as far as feedback, uh, talent, input. Um, well, if. If, if what I see, I've been, I've been drumming now just over 20 years and, and I played with a lot of bands from metal, hard rock, um, from the drums and, and for a long time now, the last, mainly the last five or six years, I've, I've really been looking for a band who is, who is serious, who we could mesh together, we could have fun together and when I sat down with Whistler Creek, I knew after the first song that was it. These guys have so much talent, they are able to, um, adapt they they uh, immediately were open to suggestions um, the songwriting ability I feel because we all have the different personalities mm -hmm. it, it it is very different yet it meshes very well together um, even from like initially when I first heard one more dance it didn't have harmonies and I brought forth a harmony idea to Stuart and the guys just immediately the first time we did it we got that chills and the goosebumps and Stuart was like wow and and for me personally seeing the different talents and the different styles um, I feel there's definitely something unique here that that each guy brings to the band and everybody's experience and their ability to uh, master their craft and that's one thing I learned very quickly to master your craft and I feel these guys have all done it and there's amazing talent and abilities here for sure where do you want the the Whistler Creek Road to go. Do you have a three-year plan, five-year plan, day-by-day <sighs> uh, day plan? <laughs> I think we're just uh, right now. We're just playing show by show and trying to get ourselves out there more. That's pretty much where we're at. Yeah, we're definitely focusing on selling ourselves yeah. right now, making a lot of uh, neat contacts in the area. We uh, had our album release party a little while ago on the 15th of July, and we had uh, Laura Gagnon. She's a uh, pop singer yep, from London. Very well, yep. She opened for us, and uh, where was that? It was at uh, Norma Jean's in London. Oh, cool, okay. And so Laura and I have actually started doing a bit of work together. So it's it's definitely opening up many doors mm -hmm. for us. Yeah, it's a, it's a, go ahead, Chris, you want to oh, touch, chime try, in on this? The thing with this is, is in the path we travel, it's not like it was 20 years ago, right? We now have social media and, and it opens up so many doors mm, absolutely, for everyone. Absolutely, true. And uh, just to, to follow up with what, uh, what Stuart said, uh, just after that CD release party, a number of the, our fans, our, what I'll call our micro niche, were there um, posting videos on Facebook and it's already garnered the attention of a, a former member of the Guess Who. Nice. Right? Just from being online for a day. So, you know, the, I think the path we want to travel is, is try and make this a living and a life. It's got to be, Steve? Oh, sorry, and definitely make it a very original band, right? Like, just focus on it. It's got to be a, a, a lot of commitment, too. You're married, Chris, right? Yes. Any other husbands in the crowd? Larry? It's got to be a level of commitment, so there's got to be support from the family. I'm, I'm literally the only single guy in this. Yeah, okay. Sure. <laughs> I'm engaged. That wasn't a shameless sure. plug, either. <laughs> so what is the level of commitment right now at Whistler Creek as far as uh, practice time, show schedule, getting yourselves out there? From the standpoint of, of, of the commitment, if I can just cover like the spouse's angle, you know, we all, 
um, Chris and myself, like my wife is, is um, amazing with the support system and the, uh, with, you know, she understands the passion involved. So it does take, you know, in the fire service and the law enforcement, we say it takes a very rare woman to be able to deal with guys like us. Absolutely. It's the same in the music industry because mm -hmm. they're along with us, you know, the time away, the time away from our children, the time away from her and, and, and you know, our spouses is, is, is tough. So in my opinion, they offer the same commitment to the project as we do as individual musicians. Chris? So I'll tell you a little story about our CD release party at Norma Jean's there a week or so ago. Uh, my wife really didn't pay much attention to Whistler Creek until that night. Um, and then she actually heard us and saw us. And now her support level has gone from that, do whatever you want to, oh my God, this is awesome. Nice. <laughs> let's get involved, let's get going, right? Green light. Let's get you moving here, yep. go, go. I don't care if you're yeah, not going. Yeah, go buy more gear, which I have a bad habit of doing anyways. So. But uh, yeah, the support has is, is, is been phenomenal so far. Sure. Um, and I think once they see how impassioned we are as, as musicians and as people, um, and how even just in the, in the short little while that um, our spouses have been talking with each other, they're starting to develop friendships and stuff as well too. All right, so. cool. Let's go to uh, original song number two. So who's, are you gonna tell us about this one, Stuart? So. This is a rainstorm. In Kerwood, <laughs> no? Watford, actually. Watford. No, <laughs> no uh, this one was actually uh, just, just really messing around with some lyrics. Um, I hear a lot of, uh, like, upbeat songs about, usually it's about a guy meeting a girl in a bar and things go from there. It's really got a nice pump to it. Uh, it's called, Tonight's Gonna Get Real Hot, and uh, I initially wrote uh, the first two verses of the song and then I pitched it to uh, Scott and Steve at the time and they came forth with this beautiful bridge for it. It just took the whole song to a whole different level and it just completely made it what it is now. All right, tonight's gonna get uh, real hot. Steve's gonna hop on the harmonica as well. You wanted to touch base on this? Is oh, that what you? Sure, yeah. No, I, I, I thought you were saying you wanted to say something. Oh, no, uh, I added a harmonica part. <laughs> yes, which we're about to hear right go. now. Yeah. Uh, original song number two. This is uh, Whistler Creek on the Sorsey Show. Taste of them lips. What say we take a chance and get out on that floor? The night is young, and I promise you want more. We're gonna dance, romance, and set this night on fire. Come on, girl, and my love. Take you even higher on some old back road. Lights are low, let's give it a shot. Cause now's the time. Two nights about to get real hot. You turn me on. The feeling I have just can't be wrong Forget your friends They'll still be here when the party ends So let me know, girl, that you want the same Cause I get intoxicated every time I hear your name We're gonna dance, romance, and set this night on fire Come on girl, with my love I'll take you even higher on some old back road Lights are low, let's give it a shot Cause now's the time, two nights about to get real hot Won't dance with you all night long Won't kiss you till the break of 
dogs Out there under that moonlight Baby, I'm gonna hold you tight We'll remember this night forever Cruising down the back road together Let's give it all that we got Tonight it's gonna get hot We're gonna dance, romance And set this night on fire Come on, girl, with my love I'll take you even higher On some old back road Lights are low, let's give it a shot Cause now's the time Two nights about to get real hot Two nights about, whoa, two nights about to get real hot Nice. Scott, Larry, Stuart, Chris, Steve, Whistler Creek, uh, original song number two. Uh, where can people find you? Social media, obviously, but where? We're on uh, Facebook. We're on Facebook as Whistler Creek. We're on uh, YouTube, also Whistler Creek Twitter. Twitter. Uh, we're, we have uh, some of our songs posted on SoundCloud. Uh, we also have a uh, five-song EP that came out on the 15th of July. No, we appreciate it. Scott, Larry, Stuart, Chris, Steve, Whistler Creek. Thank you so much, guys. Thank we you appreciate guys. it. Thank you. Thank you. All right, you've been watching the Sorzy Show on Rogers TV. Thanks for uh, joining us. Uh, we will see you soon. Take care.